Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining me once again on this adventure. I'm coming to you from small town Seymour, Indiana. You know, I was born in a small town. I was raised in a small town, educated in a small town. And while those are some random facts about myself, there are also lyrics to a song. To one of my favorite songs, Small Town. And that is Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, legend, singer, songwriter, musician, Mr. John Mellencamp. And we're in his hometown of Seymour today. We're going to walk around. I'll look, we'll look at some of these buildings and some of the sites and stuff and talk about Mr. Mellencamp. And some of the shots in the music video, Small Town, were filmed right here in Seymour. Uh, some of the shots, and we'll show you some of that. Uh, where he grew up at and all that other good stuff. So let's go. I do like how they have this uh, sign written out for Seymour. You got your S as a treble clef. And you got your notes down here at the bottom. Even though I think the notes are upside down. I think the notes are supposed to be flipped, aren't they? Unless they're like bass notes or something. And right next to the Seymour sign, you got this big stone laid in this con the, uh the sidewalk here is at home of John Mellencamp. That's pretty awesome they did that. And also they have this old parking meter here. And, it's, and at the bottom it says, In honor of John Mellencamp's many, many hours spent as a youth in downtown Seymour. Look at these. Is this like a bicycle rack, I'm guessing, maybe? But anyway, check it. It's, it's music notes. That's actually a pretty clever idea. In one of the uh, shots, you could see this. There's a picture of right here. In one of the first shots of the music video. And you could tell this is it because of that window. Oop, let me get pointed over here correctly. That window over there, that building. You see how the brick's kind of different colored. Coming down off to the side on that. And then you've got these three windows, and then you count those four windows, and you got this building, which you can see that its roof is just a little significantly higher. And then you go back down, regular roof matching the other ones, and it's three windows. And then, of course, there was another building here, possibly another building or two. And of course, those are gone now. But uh, the picture would have probably would have been taken probably about where Bruce Street is. This is still Chestnut. But it would have been taken right about uh, at the corner of that sidewalk down there by Bruce Street. Well, it seems kind of nice and quiet out here. It kind of is. But if you go up the road just off the interstate, you'll see it's not so much of a small town anymore. You see that Seymour has grown into a pretty big town. But it's still nice to come out here and check out the small town part of Seymour. Another shot from the video is this building right here. You could tell because all they got in the shot is just the 1889 right there at the very top of the building. I absolutely love this mural they have painted for Mr. Mellencamp on the side of this music store. I think that's really cool. You can see right there, it says Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, 2008. Think how long it took somebody to paint that, though. I mean, that's, that's enormous. Good attention to detail, though, on everything. Really good. You kind of wonder if Mr. Mellencamp ever comes through here, stops by this music shop, and, you know, picks up a guitar and just kind of rocks out with it for a little bit. That would be pretty neat. You're just sitting there doing your job and all of a sudden he walks in. I think it's a little past Christmas. I think they could take the tree down now, but do people still get bicycles for Christmas? You kind of wonder that. I don't think many kids ask for a bike anymore. I think most kids nowadays are like, I want the new iPhone or whatever. This, that's pretty neat. You made like a cat. And you got like a dog, what are these supposed to be like seats or something? Or maybe pot holders? Regardless, that's still pretty neat looking. 
And over here you got, uh, looks like, uh, if I can get in without a glare. There we go, you got like, it looks like a little wiener dog there. Like they, and then you've got a, a bird on this end. It's kind of glared. I got kind of a glare here. Maybe I can, there you go, you can kind of see it there. That's pretty clever. Of course, I said Mr. Millikamp was born and raised here in Seymour. That's a pretty house back there. Back here right behind me. That's a nice looking house. Anyways, he was born and raised here in Seymour and uh, born in 1951. October of 51. So I put him, what, 71? Something like that, if my math is correct. He was born here, raised here, went to college at Vincennes University. Graduated in the early 70s, I think. Something like that. A degree in broadcasting. If you don't know who John Mellencamp is, you need to stop this video or finish it, however you want to do it, and go check out John Mellencamp songs. You could check out uh, Small Town, check out Jack and Diane, R O C K in the USA. It just the list goes on and on and on. He's got a lot of great songs. Uh, like I said, my personal favorite is Small Town, probably because I grew up. Just like him, I grew up in a small town, you know. So, you know, that, that speaks a lot to me. But, you know, I love his other songs as well. And yes, there are pink houses in Seymour. Actually, they call this a pink castle. It's more like a, more like a mansion than a castle, but that's still pretty awesome that they got, got that here. And probably is named after John Mellencamp's song. One of the other shots you see in a music video is this funeral home. They come off of this street right here off of West 5th Street. And they round the turn here onto Chestnut. And they come around and they get a shot of this real beautiful looking funeral home. Why they took a video shot at the funeral home, I don't know. At least that's a very pretty place, though. So speaking of being on West 5th Street, check us out. This house is where Mr. Mellencamp grew up at. This is his childhood home until he was about the age of 16. His dad bought it. It's like a two-bedroom, one-bathroom house. Not very big. Hold several kids. Not just himself, but there's he had lots of brothers and sisters. And it's a big family. Big crammed in a little house. But, uh, yeah, this is it. This is where he was born and, and grew up at. So awesome. And the way I understand, they're wanting to turn this house into a bed and breakfast. Uh, there's actually a downstairs to this place and they're supposed to have like a, a lot of memorabilia by him from Mr. Mellencamp himself like pictures and all kinds of stuff you can stay here but it's going to cost you it's going to cost you about 150 to 200 dollars to stay so you better be prepared to spend a little bit of money I don't know if it's I don't think it's open yet as a bed and breakfast but I think they're working on it though this is so cool to actually come to the place where he grew up at and practice his guitar and walk up and down these the sidewalk out through here singing playing his guitar and stuff like that it's so cool this statue has definitely seen better days I mean I guess he's supposed to be a, I'm guessing a Union soldier from the Civil War the outfit kind of matches that he's missing a hand most importantly, he's missing his head. His, his, the barrel of his rifle's a little bent. He has definitely seen better days. Another real pretty building. Looks like it's been kind of been renovated up a little bit, fixed up some. Looks real nice. There are a lot of pretty buildings out here that, if you walk around here in, old, in the uh, small town Seymour, there's a lot of pretty buildings out here. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to make a quick little video here in Seymour. 
talking about the home of John Mellencamp. I hope you enjoyed this adventure and coming out here with me and to see his uh, his old stomping grounds where he grew up at. It's really cool to come out here and, and see this stuff. But what is your favorite John Mellencamp song? If you got a favorite song, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Or if you've ever seen him in live in concert, I'd love to hear about that. So, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will catch you guys again next time. See ya.